Hello, Pisces viewers. I am going to see what the cards want to say. Now, this could be about love, career, old people, new people, friends, family, whatever the cards want to say, whatever the story is. Um, some of you guys have been with me for a while, and as you know, I am now starting to do third-party readings, so I'm going to continue to do that. I'll still be doing the mid-month and beginning of the month Zodiac readings for you guys, as usual, but I'm also going to be doing uh, soulmate and twin flame readings, uh, love readings, and... Um, karmic third-party readings as well, maybe financial readings. So there's going to be some diverse diverse energies on this channel. But um, let's get into it. Let's see what's going on with the Pisces viewers on my channel. What is going on with you guys? Listening and understanding. New perspective. Pers perspective shift here. True love and abundance now flows to you naturally and effortlessly as a result of your open-mindedness, your faith, and your bravery. This could also be a perspective shift that your person is going through. Maybe that they're they're finally listening to you. They're finally understanding you and seeing you in a new light. Um, there's some kind of spying going on here. Pause, reflection, rest. Hesitation, mixed feelings. Yeah, someone, okay, someone has made a change. So this is probably someone from your past someone has made a lot of life changes they actually do see you in a new light they're listening there might have been something that you said before to them that they didn't understand in that current energy but their energy has shifted so now they're actually listening to you they're understanding you they're seeing you in a new light they're understanding where you're coming from maybe this is someone you got into a lot of arguments with, with before because you you called them out on what on their stuff and maybe at the time they were defensive because they were in like a dark end of the soul or in kind of like a toxic energy at the, at the time. But now there's been some kind of shift where they're, they're looking back and thinking about things that you've said in the past or things you've done in the past and they're, they're understanding it now. It makes sense to them now. There's, there's been this paradigm shift. So things that didn't make sense before actually make sense to them now. And they're spying on you. They're still hesitant, though. They're still, there's some mixed feelings here. They're still pausing. It's possible that there's been a lot of time that's gone by. This could be months or years, even, that you have not talked to this person. This might have been a, a while ago. And they might have had, this could be someone that you felt like was your true love. Like, you felt at the time like that was your person. And you guys felt close. But... This could be a twin flame connection where you guys both had to go your separate ways for a while and learn your own exp your own experiences on your own and come back together at a later later date. This could also just be a connection where it's like you were trying to teach them something, you were trying to show them how to be empathetic, you were trying to help them through something, you were trying to help them through their own darkness, and they were just so stuck in their head. They were so stuck at this toxic energy. They might have had toxic people around them that they couldn't hear you. It's like everything you said to them went in one era and out the other like they were not understanding you and that, and that energy and that current perspective they were in before um but it's like things have changed it's like they learned what they needed to learn i think that it had things had to happen it's almost like a blessing in disguise type of energy where it's like things had to happen the way that they happened because they wouldn't have learned if you had kept cradling them they would not have learned it's like you were kind of like their crutch. Like you made them happy, you took care of them, but they weren't going through the dark night of the soul that they needed to go through. Kind of energy is what I get here. It's like they you were, you were taking on the burdens for them. You were possibly transmuting their energies for them. Like this could be someone that was like playing the victim or someone that was just in these very heavy energies or very angry, very defensive, very confused and lost. And as an empath, I think that you took these energies on for this person. You absorbed these in energies and transmuted them in yourself. But the person wasn't learning the lessons from these energies because you were doing that for them. You were taking on all those energies for them. So they needed to go off on their own. And I think this was a shock to you. I think this is someone that you thought that you guys could just be together and you could help. You could keep, you know, being the empath you are, you could keep taking on their energies. You guys could work through it together. They would eventually learn on their own the easy way you, you would they would you know you kept trying to get through to them is what i get you kept telling them something you kept saying kept trying to heal them kept trying to tell them certain things kept trying to help them see you know through a new perspective a different way of being help them open their heart up again you really tried to help this person heal you tried to help them i'm getting like almost like a like like speeches like you would give them speeches or something like you would tell them like you know love is worth fighting for you would tell them like 
you, you just tried to support them. And they kind of took it for granted. They kind of took advantage of it where it's like they just kind of, um, it's like you took all, it's like a 10 of wands energy. You took all that weight onto yourself and this person just let you take the weight on because they didn't want to, they were weak in that current energy. They were weak at the time. And so, and you were strong and you were empathic. So they let you take on all that energy for them. But um, what I'm feeling now is just that, that they, they weren't learning the lessons with you. And so they, you, they had to go down their own path. They had to learn. This person was very stubborn. So they had to learn things the hard way. This could also be that you warned them. Maybe you're very psychic and you might have warned them like, hey, you have a toxic mother or father or you have toxic friends or brother, sister, family, whatever, uh, or, or karmic or, you know, or maybe they, this is someone that like goes through abusive relationships and you try to show them like, hey, like you don't have to sabotage good relationships. You can be happy. You can have a new start with me. You don't have to go back to old patterns. You can have more. This could have been someone that was really insecure that sabotaged your connection. Like they fought with you on the connection. Like you kept saying, I love you. Like you kept having, I just, I just get the energy that you had to keep convincing them of something. Like you had to keep saying, I love you. I'm here for you. And they kept arguing with it. Like, no one could ever love me. You could never want me. You don't know me. I have a lot of darkness that you don't even know about. I have a lot of secrets. And you're like, tell me, tell me your secrets then. And they're like, no, you wouldn't understand. You know what I mean? Like they just, they had to, they kept being stubborn is basically the energy I get. Like they kept, you kept trying to support them and love them and be there for them. And they didn't fully understand or, or they just thought it was too good to be true. And they just fought against it. Like they just, they kept self-sabotaging. They kept sabotaging the connection because it they felt like it was too, like you were above them. You're too empathic. You're too angelic. You're too pure for them. Like they didn't, they, they almost thought it was like a game from the universe. Like some of them really thought it was like some kind of trick. Like they thought you were using them for money or that you just wanted something and you were just pretending to care. Like some of them really got in their head about this and they really... I sense anger almost like they, they almost felt angry that they couldn't control this connection. Like you were just so pure and so loving and they like, it's like they were almost angry because they were so used to toxic situations and toxic people that they're like, okay, this person must have some kind of hidden motives. What is, what is he or she want? They must want money or they must want sex. They must want to use me for something. There's no way this relationship could just be this good and this pure. Like there's got to be some kind of catch. They kept always always thinking worst case scenario, always looking for the catch, always distrusting you and everyone around them. You know, just very sabotaging, very negative energy. But they had to, I think that you thought that you guys would get through this together and they were just too stubborn and they had to go down their own path. They had to learn things the hard way. I think that they sabotaged this connection. I think that they, they pushed you away as hard as they could. And I don't know if you left or maybe just like they pushed like, Maybe they tried to make you leave and you kept standing your ground and you kept saying, no, like, I love you. I'm going to stay. I'm not going anywhere. And eventually they just like left you because they were getting pissed that it was so uncontrollable and unpredictable and they just sabotaged it themselves. They're like, okay, there must be some kind of catch there. I'm not doing this. I'm not trusting this person. Nice try universe. I know you're just trying to, I know this is a trick from the universe. I know I'm just going to get my heart broken if I trust this person. This person's too good for me. Don't pretend like I could have this. Don't pretend like I could end up marrying this person or have true love after all I've been through in my life. Just very, very pessimistic attitude here. So this person had to learn things the hard way. They had to go through a dark night of the soul. They had to do things their own way because they're prideful and stubborn and egotistical. And they, they messed around and found out. They got some karma. They, um... They did things the hard way. They learned the hard way. And now they finally understand what you were trying to warn them about, what you were trying to tell them. They had to see it for themselves. Some of them, this could be someone that went back with a karmic. Like you might've said like, hey, like I love you. I want a future with you. Stop going back with what you're familiar with and what you're used to. You have true love here with me. Why would you want to go back to that? She, she or he was abusive. Why would you want that again? And they're like, no, I want to find out. I want to see what it's going to be like. Maybe they've changed. They they were they were they were naive. They were stupid, and they messed around and found out. And it's it's drama with the karmic. They went through a lot with the karmic. If they chose someone over you, they learned the hard way that that was a mistake. They learned whatever they went through. They learned whatever you tried to warn them about. They experienced firsthand and they learned. Whether this was a toxic friend, family member, they refused to let go of a toxic karmic, toxic situation, toxic patterns, toxic ways of thinking that they would just not let go of. 
they were stubborn. They had to do things their way. And they did, and now they see why you are right. They know that you are right. They don't want to admit it, but they know that you are right. They know, they understand. They have this new perspective. They're listening to you now. They're understanding where you're coming from now. They're thinking about the things that you told them. They're like, wow, I should have listened to her. I could have saved myself all. I should have listened to her, or I should have listened to him. I could have saved myself all that pain and heartbreak. I could have saved myself going down that dark night of the soul, that, that dark path. Some of them went to jail because they didn't heed your warning. Or they ended up in a really bad living situation or just a really toxic environment, toxic, some kind of toxic situation or toxic energies that they got stuck in because they didn't listen to your advice. And now they're listening. Now they're like, wow, I should have listened. They had this new perspective. They've, they've done the shadow work. They're really learning. Um, but I feel like for some of you, I feel like for some of you, a lot of time has gone by. So now they're spying because they're like, they don't know how you're going to feel. They're like, wow, like I really, they, they screwed themselves up. They dug themselves into a hole and they're like, what do I say? Like, maybe it's been like a year since you guys have talked. Fast moving energy, chaos, sudden turn of events. Loyalty, stability, vows. Yeah. If this person shows someone else over you, they're wanting to come back around and be loyal to you and be stable and be consistent with you and make promises to you. They want to come in quickly. They want to show you that they're a new person. They want to show you that this is a destiny. They want to show you that there's just so much regret. It reminds me of that Cheryl Crow song. So channeled song really quick. Oh, I don't know what the song's called. It's a Cheryl Crow song. It's, I guess you'll have to look up the lyrics. I'm sorry, because I don't know the name of it. I think it's called change, but I could be wrong, but it's, if you could only see what love has made of me, then I'd no longer be in your eyes the difficult, the, the, the difficult kind because, babe, I've changed. Yeah, if you could only see what love has made of me, then I'd no longer be in your eyes the difficult kind because, babe, I've changed. They, they... They feel like they've changed. How they, that's, that's up to you to decide, but they feel like they've changed at least. Um, and they want to show you that. They want to show you that they can be the person you believe they could be. They want to show you that they can, they can, that they, they trust you, that they, they're going to listen to you. They want to show you that they can be the man or woman that you believe them to be. They want to, it's, it's like a very, um, it's like this person is doing like a lot of soul searching and like asking for forgiveness. This person's in like a very spiritual energy where it's like they're wanting to come to people and ask them for forgiveness, ask them for understanding. Very like healing, very enlightened, pure kind of energy here um, where they're, they're, they're seeing the error of their ways. They're seeing where they went wrong. They're very humble now is what I'm feeling or they're trying to be humble. They're trying to learn from their past experiences. So I just see them apologizing and asking for forgiveness from people. Like they really want to be a better person. They really care a lot about being a better person. And they see how they did you wrong. For some, this is someone that ghosted you. This is someone that didn't listen to you. Someone that refused to trust you. Someone that refused to let love in. And now they're realizing what a mistake that was. And there's just so much regret, so much emotion, so much pain here. Yeah, they're having the courage and assertiveness and motivation to, to move forward and to move forward and do what? To give you truth, to give you clarity, to give you answers, to make a move, you know, to go forward, to be vulnerable, to be honest. You know, they want to say that they're sorry for being angry, for being stagnant, for miscommunicating. They're sorry. Some of them have anger issues and that they know that you're beautiful and mysterious and enchanting and they want to reconcile. They know that this is not a trick from the universe. They know that this is true love. Some of you might be getting a message from this person that you do not expect because you have not heard from them in months or years. This could, this could be someone that you have not talked to for a long time. Like you thought you would never talk to them again. Like you prayed for them. You lit candles for them. You wished them healing. You, some, of them, some of you lit candles. Some of you were like, you know, I like praying for them at night. Like I just... Like you were worried about their safety. You're like, I just want this person to, to get right. I want them to, um, some of you are like religious and you're like, I, cause I hear someone saying like, I just want them to get right with God. Like some of you are like, I feel someone praying and lighting candles and saying like, please protect this person. Please 
let them get right with God or, or with their angels or with Jesus. Um, let them, um, let them become a better person. Like some of you are just so hurt by this person's actions and behavior because you saw them going on such a dark path and saw them being someone that they're not and you wanted to save them so badly, but at some point you realized there was nothing you could do because they were gonna just keep fighting you on it. It's like, the more you tried to help them and be there for them, the more they sabotaged it and pushed, pushed you away and questioned you and tested you. And at some point you kind of just loved them from afar and just lit candles and prayed for them and hoped that they would get through it. Some of them did choose a third party over you. And let me tell you, they learned. That third party controlled them, dominated them, abused them possibly, and they learned. They learn, they they understand what you meant now. They understand that you were trying to warn them to not be submissive and weak-willed. They understand that you were trying to protect them from that, that it wasn't just jealousy. You were actually trying to keep them from, from being heartbroken. And now they're ending these, these patterns, these cycles. They're having a breakthrough. They're having clarity, freedom. They're in a very humble, very spiritual energy, wanting to make amends, wanting to apologize. They're wanting to talk to you. Some of them know where you go to party or what clubs or what social events you go to or they know your friends and they're thinking about showing up there to talk to you because they're afraid that if they send you an open, honest message that you're going to tell them to F off because it's been so long since you guys have talked and they're kind of in their head and they're thinking like this person might not forgive me. This person might not like they want your forgiveness so bad and they're like this person might not forgive me. This person might not love me this person might not want me after how much i hurt them and how much i betrayed them and pushed them away and ghosted them they might not give me another chance so some of them are wanting to just show up somewhere that they know you're going to be so they can talk to you face to face so that you can see the emotion and the pain and the love in their eyes and they think if they can just talk to you face to face that maybe you'll give them another chance and maybe you'll they at least they want to be heard out they just keep getting like i just want this person to hear me out just hear me out i know i did wrong i just want you to hear me out i just you know, someone, someone sees you as an angel. I'm getting that for this person. Like they see you as like, you're empathetic, you're pure, you're soft, you're vulnerable. You're very loving, very pure. And they want to be like you. They want to be with you and they want to be like you. And they feel like they, they felt like they were too toxic for you. But they're realizing that this is a very psychic connection. Dreams, visions, telepathy. This is a soulmate, a past life connection. Probably some of them are spying on your social media. They're trying, they want to manifest you back. The divine is helping them work up the courage, I feel, to get out of confusion and make a love offer here, make some kind of commitment, make some kind of promise here and let go of their past, let go of the the guilt and the shame and actually be vulnerable and be open and, and choose choose love and choose to take off the mask and be, be vulnerable here and let go of pride and stubbornness and, and not be seductive, not be, you know, just change, just... Some of them might have cheated and they want to apologize for that. Some of them cheated with the karmic because they thought, and there's no excuse for cheating. Like I'm not making excuses for cheating. I'm not telling you. And when I tell you these energies, I just want to say, I'm not telling you to take this person back. Like I will say that this person does have a lot of regrets and pain and I'm not telling you to take this person back. Like I'm just telling you what the energy is. It's up to you. This is your life. It's up to you to decide. This is your life. This is your intuition. Do you want to take this person back? Is this worth it to give this a second chance? It's up to you. It's up to nobody else but you and your spirit guides. You know, it's up to you and your spirit guides. Um, some of them got caught up in the moment and they did cheat with the karmic and they sabotaged things with you because they felt like, like you were too good, you were too pure, but the karmic was toxic and abusive and it was like familiar to them. Maybe they had a history, maybe they had children together or they had like an obligation to them or something and they just, it was like, it, 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 they weren't happy with them. They weren't in love, I don't feel, but they were like, it was familiar. It was like, it was like a self, like a, like a self-sabotage, like a subconscious self-sabotage. Like, well, this is what I'm used to. This is what I deserve. I don't deserve this angel in my life. I deserve you know, this toxic, abusive person, you know, this is what, this is all that I'm, you know what I mean? It's like, it was more predictable. It was like in their control and they got caught up in the moment and they might've cheated and they, there was some drama with the karmic and they regret it. Now they see what you meant. Now, if you warn them about the karmic, you're like, Hey, listen to me. This karmic is bad news. They understand. They, they, there's something that you told them that they believe you now. They understand you now. They know that you are right. They know that you are right is what I get. And they want to apologize. There's so much regret here. 
but it's up to you if you want to accept this apology or not. You know, it's going to be different for everybody. Some of them do not deserve forgiveness. Some of them do. It's really up to you. This is your life. It's, it's, you know what I mean? Like I just, I'm just telling you guys what the energy is, what they're feeling, what they're thinking, but it's still ultimately up to you what you want to do. Um, I'm happy to give advice if you guys want it. Usually I just try to tell you what's going on and I give you a little bit of advice here and there. But um, but if you want a private reading, you know, if you want me to go more in depth into this energy, what they're feeling, thinking, advice, whatever you want from it, really, send me an email. My email is the drag is, sorry, it's not the dragon enchantress. It's my email is dragon enchantress at AOL.com. My email is dragon enchantress at AOL.com. You can copy and paste it from the, um, it's in my description box below this video. My uh, donation links are also in this video. So any donations are appreciated. Even just a dollar, it really adds up. Um, you know, readers actually don't get a lot of donations on their channels. Like I, at least from what I've seen. So it's like, you know, people always think like someone else will do it, but it's like, honestly, they, they add up if you like. Even just a dollar really adds up. So I appreciate those donations a lot for those of you that can afford it. Um, and yeah, email me if you'd like a private reading. And please subscribe if this resonates. I'm going to be doing these readings regularly. I'm also going to be doing third-party readings on this channel as well as Soulmate and Twin Flame readings. So thank you guys for watching.